Alright, what's up everyone? Welcome to the Surfside PPC YouTube channel. Today I want to go over some of the Google Keyword Planner new feature announcements. So they just recently added a few new features to the Google Keyword Planner. Uh, so I want to go over each of the different features so you can use them when you're doing your keyword research, whether it's for pay-per-click or for search engine optimization. Now one thing I want to say before I get started is I'm going to be doing a very long keyword research tutorial coming up shortly uh, where I basically go through how to come up with a huge list of keywords for an entire brand. So I've done some keyword research tutorials in the past, I've done keyword planner tutorials, but nothing that's going to be this intensive and comprehensive with the information. So um, it's probably going to end up being a long one because I'm going to go through how to pull all sorts of different keywords and basically find every single keyword you can for your brand. Now with that being said, I want to go through the different feature announcements one by one. So if you sign into Google Ads, you open up Tools here, and under Planning, you go to Keyword Planner. What you're going to see at the bottom here is New Feature Announcement. So if you click on it, it's going to say a better keyword planner, more seeds, so you can enter up to 10 different keywords when you're searching for new ideas, keyword trends, so you can look at individual keyword trends and download them, grouped ideas, so view keywords by theme, or add the set as an ad group. So they used to have more ad group data when you were using the keyword planner. They've kind of brought that back. Some of these are kind of old features that they brought back because when they rolled out the new keyword planner, they got rid of some of the popular features that people were using. Save an idea to an existing campaign, so you can take a keyword idea and add it to a campaign you already have in your account. So they used to just have it where you can uh, build keywords for a new campaign. Now they have it where you can add them to an existing campaign. Suggested budget, so when you're doing forecasting data, you could actually see what they suggest as your budget to reach your goals. And then competition value, so a little bit more detail about competition. They used to just have that column that says low, medium, high. Now they put a number score on it, so we're going to go through these one by one. So first is enter up to 10 seed keywords. So if we open up Keyword Planner here, um, what we can do is, so we entered a few keywords here, but what I'm going to do is enter some keywords. We're going to do PPC advertising. We'll do pay-per-click, PPC. Okay, so we added our 10 keywords. It says you can still add a URL here, so why not? We'll just enter surfsideppc.com as well. So now we can use all of this data to find new keywords. So if I'm trying to create content around pay-per-click advertising, what I can do is enter these 10 different keywords, and we can click on Get Results. So it's going to pull the top keywords by relevance. You can look at average monthly searches over here. So we can see average monthly searches, the top is just PPC, pay-per-click, pay-per-click advertising. If we click on keyword, we can find the most relevant keywords. So it's going to pull the ones that you typed in first. But if we scroll down a little bit, you can see cost per click, PPC marketing, PPC management, Google PPC, PPC agency. So you can take some of these different keywords and add them to your plan. So we'll just take a bunch of these keywords. We're going to put them all in the same ad group for a plan. So you'd really want to separate them out into different ad groups if you're creating a plan. We already have a plan here, so our ad group is just called test. So I'm just going to add a bunch of these different keywords to the plan because that will become useful as we go through the video. So we'll go down to Google Ad. We'll go to PPC services, and we'll be adding them to our plan, adding it to this ad group. So it's just one ad group, one campaign. You definitely want to separate them out into different ad groups. If you're already bidding on keywords, you can see here it's in our account, so we are bidding on the keyword PPC management. Um, so you could just see some different ideas. But the main takeaway is that you can enter more keywords up here at the top. So really trying to find the best keywords. So number two is in addition to the keyword ideas, they've also added a tab here called grouped ideas. So if we come back over here, we can see grouped ideas. So basically they're building ad groups for you. So it's going to make us remove our website if we want to see this. So we'll click on get results. So it's going to pull in basically keywords by different ad groups the way they would use them if they were building campaigns for you. So you can see group by relevance. So if we click on it, click down, we can see the different keywords that are in this group. Pay-per-click management services, pay-per-click services, advertising services. So just different things in the same ad group. Now they're not all going to be perfect here, but it does help as you're building ad groups or as you're looking for different groups of keywords. So you can see pay-per-click service is one of the popular ones. Um, we can go down here. So pay-per-click company, pay-per-click management company, advertising company. So if you want to bid on some of these different keywords, AdWords company, AdWords expert, ad agency, you can just get some different ideas for the types of keywords that they're going to pull based on your keyword ideas. So just another option here is grouped ideas. So as you enter your keywords, you can get more grouped ideas and just see different things. So I'm going to change the search here real quick. So we're going to get rid of these. 
Okay, so if you've been following us long enough, you know we have a website related to Farmhouse Decor. So we just entered one keyword here now, and we've gone to the grouped ideas. So you can see if we go to Chris, uh, the groups again, it's going to have Christmas ornaments, so Farmhouse Christmas ornaments, average monthly searches, some different ideas here. Um, we scroll up, modern interior, so modern farmhouse interior, modern farmhouse interior design. Now where this really comes in handy, in my opinion, is also with search engine optimization. So if I'm building an article or creating an article about farmhouse Christmas ornaments, I can see all the different keywords that people are the most likely to type in. So farmhouse Christmas or ornament sets, galvanized Christmas ornaments, farmhouse style, Christmas ornaments, farmhouse, pretty much the same thing, modern, and then you can just see Christmas trees. So just some different ideas that you can include in your article to really help you rank for some of those long tail keywords that are a little bit easier to rank for than something like farmhouse Christmas ornaments. Now if I do galvanized, if I do farmhouse Christmas tree, I'm going to be more likely to be able to rank for some of these things. And as you're creating content and creating articles on your website, you can get a lot of different ideas. This is also useful as you're building out categories on your website. So if I type in something like Google ads, if I type in farmhouse decor, I can see farmhouse tier tray, farmhouse three tier tray, wood tier tray. These are some of the different things that they relate to farmhouse decor. So I want to make sure I have these types of pages on my website and these types of categories on my website. So it can be really helpful when you're trying to find keyword ideas for content. And it can also be used for, for pay-per-click advertising if you're just really not sure where to start with some of the keywords that you want to bid on. So number three is you can now view monthly keyword trends. So for individual keywords, you can see the keyword trends for each month. So all you need to do is go over the keyword data under their trends. So if we come back over to keyword ideas, we're going to stay in farmhouse decor right now. We go into keyword ideas. So what we're looking at is the last 24 months. You can do the last 12 months. So the more data you have, the better you can see some of these different keyword trends over here. So average monthly searches. So for farmhouse decor, you can see just over the last 24 months, if we scroll over here, so there's been a lot of growth over the last 24 months, and it seems like it grows pretty much every month. So it was a lot lower all the way back in March 2017. Now we're at February 2019. You can see things are higher. So it's going to continue to grow because farmhouse decor is just growing as a a topic in general. You can see farmhouse wall decor has grown over the years. So one of the things I like to look at is farmhouse Christmas decor because you can see kind of how it grows seasonally. So you can see right here, this is December of 2017. If we keep going, this is December of 2018. So you can see how much things have grown over the years. So just another thing that you can look at is average monthly searches for individual keywords when you scroll over. Just a little bit more data so you can find different keywords and what people are searching and when they're searching it. So how things change over time. Uh, there's definitely seasonality involved with a lot of different keywords, especially when you're looking at Christmas type keywords. So just another thing to look at, average monthly searches, and you can look at the trends over time. Okay, so next is you can save keywords to an existing campaign. So add a keyword idea to a campaign you've already created. So we have a search campaign in our Surfside PPC account. We've pulled in our pay-per-click advertising keywords again. So let's just say, for example, I want to target the keyword pay-per-click ads. What I can do is click on it. Instead of adding it to a plan, I can add it to an existing campaign. It's going to pull up all the different campaigns in our account. So we'll add it to our newsletter and free ebook campaign. So you can see select an ad group. We're going to create a new ad group. We'll do just name the exact okay so we're going to add it to a new ad group click on done and then you could enter it as an exact match phrase match or broad match keyword i always recommend using modified broad match so if you add it as a broad match keyword make sure you go in and add the plus signs in front of each individual word we'll just do exact match for now and click on add keywords so it's that simple now it's in our account so now we're targeting this keyword pay-per-click ads right in our campaign that we're already running so really easy to add new keywords to your campaign create new ad groups and then as you do that you can always go back into your campaign make sure you have advertisements running in that ad group so just something to keep in mind if you're creating new ad groups so next is view a suggested daily budget so when we added all those keywords to our plan before we're going to come back over here what you can do is add keywords to a plan and go to plan overview and now it's showing basically some different data for if we're bidding on all these different keywords. So Google AdWords costs, Google Ads tutorials, Google PPC. So we have a bunch of these keywords in our plan. So you definitely want to separate them out into separate ad groups. But for now, we're just going to keep it as is. So what you can see here is your plan can get three conversions for $110 and a $3 max cost per click. So the data is not going to be perfect at first, but you can kind of see some different this right here is what's new, the suggested daily budget. So what you can do is under conversions, right now we have it set to three. Let's just say I want to get to 10 conversions. 
So right here it's showing nine conversions. It's saying our average CPA is $380, 180 clicks, 13K impressions. Our average cost per click is $20. And it's saying to achieve these goals basically over the course of May, so we're looking at forecast data for May, it's going to cost us about $3,600 for nine conversions. So that's obviously a huge number, um, but it's basically to get pay-per-click advertising clients. So that'd be the ultimate goal here. Um, I generally wouldn't run these keywords because it's a little bit too high for me. Um, but you know, some some advertisers do have budgets this large. They do have look at average CPAs. Maybe this is a, this is a bit high for sure. Um, you'd want to get this down. But if your average CPC is twenty dollars, um, it, it's just another way to look at forecast data. I'd prefer to look at this for beach decor or farmhouse decor. It's going to be a little bit more reasonable, where your average CPA might be something like. $20, $30 rather than $380. So you'd obviously want to bid on more keywords if you're seeing data like this. But the new thing is you can see a suggested daily budget over the course of a month in order to achieve these goals based on the keywords that you're targeting. So enter your own keywords. Make sure you're entering a lot of keywords, not just like I did. So I didn't enter really enough keywords here, but um, you can change things around. So if we click over here, you can change and change your conversion rate. So let's say we change our conversion rate to 10% which is still a little bit high. You can do a value conversion. Let's just say every conversion is worth $300 to us. We'll click on save. So now it'll change it a little bit here. So it's saying our daily budget will be $150 still, 14601, but we'll just up do it to 150. It's gonna cost us about 3.6, 3 3.7,000 most likely, 13K impressions, 180 clicks. Average cost per acquisition would be $200. So if our value per conversion is $300, then this would actually be a good campaign for us. But we would have to get up to a 10% conversion rate, which is pretty high, honestly. Um, but if you're getting this many conversions and your conversion value is this high on an average per conversion, um, then this isn't a bad campaign for you. So just play around with some of these numbers. I like to use the forecast data, especially when you're creating new campaigns. This, these numbers are obviously a little bit high. Um, paying $200 for each individual conversion is a lot. I mean, for some companies, it's not too bad. Like if you're a lawyer or something like that, you don't mind paying that much because a new client can bring you thousands of dollars. Um, so just something to use. Go to the plan overview as you're trying to forecast data for a new campaign. And now last but not least, one of the things I really like is this competition indexed value new column. Um, so we're going to come back over to our keyword ideas. So we have all of our pay-per-click advertising keywords. So when you click on columns here, click on modify columns, make sure you have this in here, competition indexed value. So we already have it, so we're going to click on cancel. So now you can see here, this is a zero to 100 score, and I'll just scroll my mouse over so you can kind of see. It says competition index value shows how competitive ad placement is for a keyword specific to the location you're targeting and the search network targeting options that you've selected. So the level of competition is determined by the number of ad slots filled divided by the total number of ad slots available. So basically it's looking at how competitive each of these keywords are based on how many advertisers are bidding on them and how many ad slots are available. So you can see Google AdWords marketing campaign, management cost, uh, expert PPC. So these are a little bit lower because they're only 10 per searches. So there's not a ton of ad placements when there's only average 10 monthly searches. So what you can do is you can set up some filters. So we'll click on filter over here. And what we'll do is make sure average monthly searches is greater than or equal to, and we'll just do 70. So now we can see some of the most popular keywords, AdWords Audit, Amazon PPC, Best Pay-Per-Click Advertising Company, Google AdWords Expert. And the other thing we can look at, just one more time, is if I go to Amazon PPC, it's been one of the fastest growing pay-per-click advertising networks, probably the fastest. So if you scroll over here, you can see just over the course of 24 months how much search volume has grown. Um, so we're all the way up to pretty much double what it was back in March 2017. Uh, so you could see up here January 2019, it was basically double what it was. So uh, just a bunch of different features to use in the Google Keyword Planner. So I'm going to do a full keyword research tutorial where I basically go over how to set up keywords, basically grouping different keywords based on whatever it is that you're typing in, whatever it is you're trying to find. I'm going to do it for a specific company the way exactly how I would do it. So. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments section. Thanks for watching our video today, and make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel.